in the last 20 years. Digital technologies have had a huge impact on how we work, how we shop, how we create relationships, how we communicate. And that has fundamentally changed how learning happens and actually who we are as learners. I think we have a big opportunity at the Workland School at the University of Calgary to create a different kind of teacher by focusing on becoming a very different kind of learner. A learner who understands that every day is an opportunity for creativity and innovation. All of us live in a world that is built around science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I think what's happening right now in the world is that we're seeing a greater uh, push for STEM education at all levels, K-12, college, and beyond. There is a widespread acknowledgement that public needs to be more STEM literate. And what that means is that they need to understand not just of basics in science that we learn in school, but also they need to be more technologically literate. They need to know coding, they need to understand the impact that code has on our everyday lives, both in private and in public. This has bearings on the workforce needs, but also it has a huge bearing on diversification of the economy, because we are going to require more and more creative solutions for economic progress and a strong background in STEM education certainly can support a greater growth in creativity and innovation. Well, I think where the University of Calgary is at around STEM education is we are at a point where we are ready to really explore how we work in an interdisciplinary way and how we work in a collaborative way, both with our students and with our students as partners working with our academic staff. It starts with getting to know each other and, and building that trust and talking to each other, seeing ways of knowing, and then starting to partner with people and working in authentic ways around projects and questions that are provocative and how do we help uh, people in higher education teach in different ways or use their students as learning partners, build in inquiry-based learning projects into, into every aspect of our, of our undergraduate programs. I think one of the biggest things and something I'm really pleased to be a part of is the STEM component of the undergraduate program and the fact that it is completely cross-curricular, that that isn't something that's just being developed for our secondary science teachers, for example, but it's something that's required for all, from our early childhood program even, all the way up to our secondary and every subject area. And that means actually really thinking, what does STEM mean for our students who want to teach literature and history and who are musicians and artists, and in addition, what what does it actually mean for our science and math teachers? And helping them really see that STEM isn't just another way of doing science education or another way of doing math education. It's a way of really thinking about how all of us can engage in design-based thinking, problem solving, and questions that are really applicable to students' lives and to society at large. Well, it's very important to note that the Workland School of Education doesn't exist by itself. We're here at the University of Calgary. And this is a university that was born in the 60s, at a time where you know, people really were out there willing to take risks. This whole university was built on that model. Every decade, we've tried something new. We've pushed the envelope. You know, if you think about all the great innovators and creative people in history and read their biographies, guess what? They had many, many failures. Many things didn't work, and they persisted. They had a kind of resilience about them, um, a belief that if I keep on trying, I'll learn something from that and be able to apply it in a new way. Well, in the past, and even today, our education system hasn't supported that approach. It's been all about getting it right quickly and doing it in the same way. Well, we're rethinking all of that in the Workland School, inviting our students to come in and Think about what it means to be creative and innovative. How do we do that as a human being? How would school change if we created conditions where people could do that at the level of schooling? And how would you need to learn to teach differently? I believe that uh, the Workland School of Education is leading Canada and maybe even North America in STEM education research. We have hired over the last few years some of the best faculty from all over the world who are leading different areas within STEM education research. We are uh, inventing new technologies. We are transforming the city as we speak. There is also uh, an interdisciplinary group of over 40 faculty members who are invested 
in, across the campus, science, art, engineering, mathematics, uh, medicine, education, uh, they're all invested in integrating STEM as part of their regular curriculum. We have relationships that are building all over campus. For example, science and the Workland School of Education. We've had collaborative partnerships going for the last five years that have resulted in some pretty magnificent things, like our research chair in, uh, in STEM creativity. Partnerships between engineering and the Workland School of Education, um, with medicine and education, and then with all of those faculties that I just mentioned working together. Around Calgary, in Alberta, all across Canada, we are being challenged to create a whole new different nation with people that have very different capabilities and skills. That has to start at teacher education. We have to go in and help our teachers to think very differently about what their classroom practice will be.